The Bay Area Children's Theater is a youth-centered theater and arts education program who is dedicated to helping children all over the Bay Area. And joining us now is the artistic director, Kalia Davis, along with one of the actors from the company, Leah Sanginiti. Thank you both, Leah and Kalia. Love that, Leah, Kalia. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost like we planned it. I know, right? It works <laughs> out. Thank you, ladies, for joining us on the show. Very exciting. Now, Kalia, I'd actually like to talk to you first. Mm -hmm. You're the artistic director yes. for the Bay Area Children's Theater. What goes into planning some of these amazing things that you guys have for the children who visit? Of course. So Bay Area Children's Theater has been an institution here in the Bay Area for over 18 years. We've served now over a million kids with all of our different programming offerings. We have On Stage, which is our adults performing for kids. We have our academy programs where kids themselves can perform in shows. And then we have our in-school programming. And something that we think about when it comes to planning a season is how do all of those connect? And as we're going to talk about a little bit later with Llama Llama Red Pajama Live... <laughs> <laughs> Can't we wait. <laughs> really love the opportunity to take books that kids are excited about in the classroom or in their libraries or at home and bring them to life on stage for them to experience in a new way? Because we believe that if we can get a kid to fall in love with theater and the arts and literacy and reading in one go, so mm -hmm. just seeing our show or participating in a program, then I think we're doing something right. And it really does connect, right? The reading, the, mm -hmm. the plays, when you're able to connect everything together for the kids, what kind of a turnout have you guys been able to see? Oh my goodness, it has been wild. As we all know, we um, are re-emerging right now after yeah. a couple of years, especially in the Bay Area where they did have to shut down theater so we couldn't actually perform inside. Mm. But in this last season, we were able to do some really cool and innovative work. We were outside, we used a bus, um, and we were traveling around the Bay Area. Our actor Leah was a part of that production as well. Mm -hmm. And we're back again, uh, just finding different ways to really connect with our audiences. And because of that, with the varying types of of ways we're doing that, we're seeing a lot more people coming in that we hadn't met before. And it's actually really nice that the few years that we were unfortunately not able to perform live for these families, those families had kids of their own, more children, so they're actually now able to come and see our shows. Those kids are old enough and we're really excited to welcome them. And I know, I know the kids for a fact are very excited to be involved in some of these things. Leah, you being an actor, can you talk a little bit about the current show that you guys have going on? Yes, so Llama Llama Red Pajama Live is based off of this book, which is also a TV show. Uh -huh. Kids know and love it. It is so much fun to look out into the audience, to get to do audience interaction, and they know what to say. They recognize the lyrics from all of the stories. And then at the end, when we take pictures with them and they're dressed in the same costume, oh, or they have a stuffy <laughs> that is of your character, and they just want to give you a big hug. So, so it, it means so much, especially last year, you know, you're right, we got so innovative. We did all of these things to protect children and families and the mm -hmm. actors. Mm -hmm. And it is just such a breath of fresh air to look out to a sea of hundreds of families dancing in their seats with us, singing along, yes. shouting oh. the answers to oh. things. Yes. And it's just, it, it means everything to be able to be back. I, I can only imagine. And being from an actor's perspective, you're really able to engage with the audience, not mm -hmm. just the kids, but the parents as well. What kind of feedback have, have you received from the parents when it, when it comes to that? Oh, part? they are so happy to be there. I think Llama Llama Red Pajama, this particular children's musical, is unique in that it is equally for the children and mm -hmm. the grown-ups in the <laughs> audience. It? There are all of these asides to the audience, you know, jokes just for the grown-ups. Oh, I love while that. While the kids are still fully engaged and entertained. And, and, you know, some of the parents, what means the most to me as a performer is when they say my child was focused the whole time mm -hmm. because today with technology with everything that children are being bombarded with to be able to have a live theater experience where for 55 minutes 60 minutes the child is fully present and active and activated in their body with their imagination so to me that's that's the best part. Yeah, it seems like a very, very rewarding job. Yes, honestly, it, absolutely. It it's does. a great one. <laughs> so, Kalia, I'd like to direct it back to you now. How challenging is it to turn a book into an entire 
theatrical play. <laughs> it's got to be tough. It is, but the thing that we love about that challenge is what are the possibilities? Because with the book, you get the script pretty much right there. You have the words, you have the story, but then when we want to add music and movement and we want to expand that story, then we get to bring in our imagination, our creativity, and work alongside sometimes directly with the author themselves, mm -hmm. rights holders, publishing, to help them understand that we are not changing it completely, but what we're doing is we are just expanding that world. We're bringing it to life in a really magical way that gets kids excited and activated as well. It's interesting because, Leo, when you were talking about the play and how much the kids were engaged, you said, oh, we also give a few slides to the parents, <laughs> kind of putting in jokes there for the adults too, right? Do oh, you, do we you do have that? to do that because... <laughs> Who's bringing these kids to see the show but their caregivers? Yeah. So we want to make sure that they're enjoying themselves, too. We mm -hmm. know that there are lots of different forms of entertainment out there for young people, and we're really grateful that we can provide that as well. And we do it specifically so that we uh, really emphasize the full family experience, that it's not just the kiddos get to dance and sing, but also the parents, especially with this show, Llama Llama Red Pajama, that has yeah. a featured caregiver, a parent there, who is working with Baby Llama it's his first day of school, and so these parents are sitting in the audience and going, oh, I know what that's like. I'm seeing my own life reflected on stage as this mom is trying to get her child to bed. Oh, that's it. Goodness. That's all yes. she wants to do. <laughs> An a bedtime ritual, a bedtime activity that is sparked with tons of creativity and imagination because baby llama can't get to sleep. But the essence of it all is that there's change that's happening. And mm -hmm. so parents are recognizing, oh, wow, I am loving this music. I'm having a great time. These actors are killing it. But also, whew, I know what that's like. And you can see them turn to their child as the show is happening and have that moment of connection as well that they're seeing reflected, and that's really beautiful. That is beautiful. Well, I learned a little something today about the <laughs> Bay Area Children's <laughs> Theater. Thank you, Kalia, Leah, ladies. You're wonderful what you're doing, all the work. I appreciate it, and keep it up. Thank, Thank you, you for having here. us. Of course. <laughs>